In this video, we will learn how to return 404 status code from ASP.NET Core Web API application. In this controller based class, we have not found method. Now, let's see the summary of this method. Using this method, we can return 404 status code. If you are looking for a resource that does not exist, uh, then you can use this not found method to return 404 status code. We have two methods with this uh, not found method name. First method, we need to pass uh, object value. The second method is without parameter. Now we will use this second method in our animals controller. Since we are using the same application that we have created in our ASP.NET Core video series. In this controller, we will use this method get animals by ID. If ID is zero, we will return bad request. Here we will declare a variable where animal. Here we will fetch the data with the parameter ID. If animal equal null means if the animal is null means we don't have data in our resource. So uh, we will return not found data here. We will use not found method. Else we will return the animal here. That's it. If id is 0 means we will return bad request. If the animal is null means we will return not found method. If, uh, if we got the animal with this given id means we will return that animal. Okay, now save and run this application. Before running this application, let's see the base route. Uh, here first we have to append API and then controller name. Now run this application. See here in this constructor we have two records with ID 1 and 2. Uh, if I send the existing ID with the URL, we will get the data in the OK method. If the data doesn't exist means uh, we will return not found method. Let's check it. Here navigate to the URL. API animals and then uh, let's enter ID 1. Now navigate, uh, sorry, open a network tab here. Okay, now enter the URL. Here we got 200 status code and then we got the output here. Okay, if I enter, uh, let's say 13, press enter. See here, uh, we don't have data with this uh, ID, so we got 404 error. If I enter 2, press enter. With this uh, ID 2, we are having data, so we got the response as 200, and then we got the output here. Uh, this is how we can return 404 status code uh, from ASP.NET Core Web API application. Thanks for watching this video.